Good afternoon. Look who it is. It's Mag. She's going Mag home today. Is. Leave us a comment down below if you think it's ridiculous that we offered Meg free rent <laughs> and a free doggy friend to live with us, but she's still got deciding to go back to the cold, snowy land of I Chicago. Go back to my students. You can find students down here. <laughs> Disney students. Um, but we're here to. She's leaving at 2 o'clock. We gotta drop her off with her family because they're driving tonight. But we're here at our favorite resort. I'm gonna try to see if we can get a tour of the cabins. Mm -hmm. We'll see if we're lucky at all. Because I hear that you can get a free tour. Look at the flowers. Sorry for that. For DVC members. Okay, good news and bad news. Good news, I've never really looked at this frog before. And look at the eyebrows. They're on point, I'd say. And the bad news is Megan doesn't get to see the cabin. I don't know if we're gonna see the cabin but the cabin tours are at two, three, and four. You have to be a DVC member, so Sarah and I might come back after we drop off Megan. Um, but we'll see. If not, we'll do it a different day. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go outside because it's beautiful. Can you see you guys are pointing? No. Okay. Let's go. Spot at Geyser Point. Ooh, someone's in a sea racer. I want to take one of those out. I'm gonna try to make a cool time lapse with this thing because it's sunny out. Meg got a crispy chicken burger or sandwich with chili aioli. We got a burger, bison burger with garlic aioli. Kind of stuff on it. Oh, that bird almost just took you out. Living life. Maggie's Chicky Burg. Holy oh, smokes. I've been craving a burger. Yeah. You like it? How's the barbecue sauce? Sweet? It's real sweet. Mmm. Really These fries are the best. You're breaking my heart just a little bit. It's the electrical parade! Wait a minute, this is not the contemporary. And that is not the monorail we just got off of. Um, we had a little we had a little scuffle with Meg <laughs> at front of the Magic Kingdom. Um, she Terrific thing. Yes. I have a weapon. Meg has a weapon. She forgot that we not, we all forgot that we were going to security when you take the boat from Wilderness Lodge to Magic Kingdom. We we're gonna hop on the monorail to go to Contemporary and some of the other monorail resorts. Have to go to security and bag check. And Meg has mace in her purse. So don't bring mace. So don't bring mace. No. So they like we're trying to take it, but then they're like, well, hold on, let me get a manager. So they got a security manager involved. Security manager's like, where are you going? We're like, we're just going to the resort. He's like, can you take the boat, not the monorail? We're like, sure. But then we had a realization just now that we have to get back to Wilderness Lodge, <laughs> which I'm trying to think of a way we can get through not going to Magic Kingdom because we'll have to go through security again, which means that they will find the mace again, which means they'll call the manager again, <laughs> which we'll means again. we'll get an escort again because the security guard literally walked us from the manager post by the buses to the dock for the small boats to bring us to over here by the Grand Floridian and stood there with us waiting until the boat showed up so we didn't like <laughs> scurry off to the monorail. So thank you for keeping us safe, but thanks Mike for making it a little adventurous. Oh, wait. Then again, this is one of my favorite resorts and Meg has already experienced firsthand how I said Wilderness Lodge is my favorite and Grand Floridian is my favorite. When we get to the poly, you'll probably say I, I might, but I probably... It's my favorite because they're stolen. Yes, Meg, you should get a doll. Splurge the last thing before. <laughs> last. last thing. She got an extra hour added on to her day. We get to bring her to Animal Kingdom at three instead of two. So I think she deserves a doll <laughs> for causing security mayhem today. Oh my God. We're about to go in and get the smells and AC of the Grand Floridian. But look at these ducks and ducklings. They're adorable. The eggs are still up for Maggie. <laughs> it's the best napping spot. Wake up! Pop 
Papa, I'm indecent. This fountain. I took a seat in these little chairs and I've never noticed these little prints above this TV before. Just your typical Florida <laughs> sun this sprinkle. Is the, this is the first time since we first moved here that it smells like Florida. Yeah. Like it's very like, Florida smell. Like, you can already smell the moisture in here. Lateral I like it. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Third resort of the day. Yeah, and I took a nap at Grand Florida. <laughs> and Meg's getting a dole whip. And I got a call from the Grand Florida. Thank you, Kansas. I'm, I'm making a look at these Ooh. Ones. For anyone wondering, this is only open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Here we are. We got our dole whips. Delicious. Delicious. So delicious. And I don't know if Sarah got it, but I got a coffee from the Grand Floridian. Thank you, concierge at the DVC building. Look at this, we're doing all kinds of transportation today. Yeah, let's go here. This is kind of empty. We did it, Mag. I tell you, I did not think today we'd end up, I know we were meeting up with Mag. I did not think we'd end up seeing four of the Magic Kingdom resorts if you count Wilderness Lodge as one. Um, and I do. It's right over there. We're going down to get the boat. There they are. Yeah. Going down to catch the boat over to F Wilderness Lodge to get our car. Look at that Mary Blair, she's the best. I always think these are suspiciously narrow and it concerns me. Okay, this concludes our Magic Kingdom resort tour. Now we gotta drop Megan off and say goodbye, which is sad. Then we have to go home and just do a bunch of like housekeeping. What's the word I'm thinking of? Eva's super pumped. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gonna go run two quick errands and she's gonna come with us Yay! and she's super pumped. Look at that, she's like, I don't even have my shoes on. Bye guys. <laughs> This is, we're running two errands, we're maybe three, but two for sure. So we're filling up some gas, and we're gonna go to the post office, but it's about to rain, and it looks like it, look how eerie it is. We're gonna go to the P.O. box to check it, and to send out some, some buttons, because we had a bunch of button orders that were coming in with the merchandise, and I'm super excited. We had like seven or eight of the first round of orders for our merchandise sent out this past week, and I think I have to check, but I think some of them have gotten them already, or are about to get them. And I'm super nervous and excited to hear what people think about actually having the merchandise in hand. And thank you so much if you have purchased some of my merchandise. It makes me feel great. It makes me feel super happy for Sarah because I know she takes so much pride in those designs. Um, for people to actually like, because they're not just Disney inspired, they're, they're about us. So it's like you guys are buying the merchandise about us and our stories. So that it really makes us feel great. post office and I left the keys in the car and I need that for the P.O. box. So we're home now. It's like 8.30. We still have to cook dinner and figure out what we're doing. We got some like businessy stuff we want to do and fun stuff and project stuff. But I'm so nervous. How's it? I'm nervous. Um, okay. We saw that the Ballinger family, which is a family vlog related to Colleen Ballinger, go check them out. They're like, besides, they like them and Casey, like I think Sarah showed me Ballinger. Casey. Well, I'm saying like for me, like what is important to me is YouTube. Right, but you Not, started watching them before. Yeah, Sarah showed me this. Probably Sarah showed me the Ballinger family, probably the first accounts ever on YouTube, yeah. and. They're super nice, super genuine, super adorable. They're the best. They pretty much daily vlog now. Yeah. Um, but what's awesome is like, everyone says like, oh, you're not gonna daily vlog. It's 
too much work and we've been doing it over 250 plus days and everyone's like that's going to stop when you have kids just wait like you're not going to have time you're not going to have energy that's going to go out the window your youtube is going to be done or at least your daily vlog is going to be done and sarah and i if you haven't realized we're pretty stubborn and we're hard working so we both know like we've talked about it plenty of times like the daily vlog can still continue when we do have children and then there's like people who are like oh you're not going to want to put your children on the internet it can be done in a safe and nurturing way Right. And we're going to work hard to make sure it happens every day and done in the right way. And the Ballinger family is the perfect example. So if one person can do it out there, yeah, anybody can do it. Yeah. And I mean, it's taught their kids so many things about, you know, just like being able to showcase themselves and um, just like a handful of things. Like a it's great, great outlooks on life. Great outlooks on life. But yeah. the point is their YouTube channel just reached 900,000 subscribers yeah. and this they made family, a four minute... Like, the dad and the mom, like, well, the mom was a stay-at-home mom, and the dad lost his job, and he just dove right into YouTube, and now he's at 900,000 subscribers. Like, it's insane. So they, they made, they posted a video called The Ballinger Family Special Through the Years. So I'm sure it's going to have old footage. Yeah, and it's four minutes long, so we're so excited to watch it. It is late. It is the real time, 10.30 p.m. We have not had dinner, so what are two functioning adults going to be doing? And in the morning, we're making pancakes. Well, in, in real life and right now, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're making pancakes. We're gonna make pancakes because we are in desperate need of going grocery shopping. Probably do that tomorrow or the next day or the next day or the next day. So we're gonna make some pancakes. A very quick update. We've gotten 30 seconds into this and we've already decided we're Mm, we're making healthy pancakes. But they're really good. They're they are. They are really oh. good. But I lost that battle. I wanted extremely unhealthy, super delicious. If we had bacon in the whole breakfast shebang, but and we also had a bison burger earlier today. And the reason why is because that we're eating so late that we were super busy getting stuff ready for the weekend. And you know we've like we have our new ongoing project of the website, but we always have new projects going on. So, time to cook. You want to do raisins? Yeah. Okay, we're going to get our mix going. Here is a cup and a half of oats, because we're doing healthy oats. And then we're going to put in the flour. So we're going to do half a cup of flour. And then we're going to do a tablespoon and a half of sugar. We're going to give Andrew's Kitchen a run for our money. <laughs> then we're going to do a teaspoon of baking powder. A teaspoon of baking soda. A teaspoon of, or a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. That was cinnamon sugar, but that's all we got. We're going to give two shakes of salt. And then we've got a, we're gonna throw in some raisins to make this fruitier, heartier, and healthier. All of them? Yeah. Ooh, that was a lot. I did not realize there were that many. Okay, this is gonna be interesting, everybody. And then we have a water or a liquid concoction here of melted butter, water, and eggs. So Sarah, do you just wanna pour that in there? And I can put my phone down and I can actually stir this not like a goof. And hopefully this will be the right consistency. And if not, we'll add whatever. And we'll, we'll add some more flour to it if not. I also added a dash of um, vanilla extract because, you know. Flavor. Flavor. <laughs> Look at this, it's chunky. It smells good. Yeah. It's the butter, the melted butter. Did we decide are we going to live stream? I think we're going to live stream on Facebook. Alright, so I'm happy with that consistency. We'll get the frying pan ready. And a ladle? Yeah, get a ladle and then I think we're going to go on Facebook. Yeah. Those are mine. Goes out and does a picnic. Here's your Sarah's. Yeah. Here's Sarah. I'm going to put sir. Everybody say hi to the vlog. Yeah, so we'll be home for the... There we are. For the cake ball game, for sure. Here are my pancakes. There's Sarah and Eve, and I'm, I think I'm gonna wear this hat. Everyone in the live stream is saying I should wear this hat to Magic Kingdom tomorrow, so I think I might. It's not too, too late. 
Well, it's just the perfect time for us to get to bed and maybe get some good sleep. Yeah. But we're I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna rock well, this hat I just tomorrow. realized that Chelsea and Kristen asked like when the welcome show was. Like, are we going to the welcome show tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know either. I want to get this vlog up before we go. Sure. Uh, but I think I'm gonna wear this hat tomorrow in the entirety of the vlog. So if you like the hat, make sure to watch tomorrow's video. And if you don't like the hat, skip tomorrow's video. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>